Hello to anybody who may or may not be watching this video. My name is Original Hawk, and welcome to episode four of my Minecraft Engine playthrough with my friend Hen Feeders. Today we're just going to be hopping, hopping into some soggy swamp action. Right, I'm gonna go right ahead. Single skeleton, really? That's all. I got a pickaxe. I'm too OP. I can, I can one shot everything. Or anything, rather. Too easy. Alright, I'm feeding I love how it always says message. You're a friend. This is when your friends pop in the game. Look, I love the pickaxe as a great early game weapon because you can you can get it pretty easily and I've actually gotten it before really early game. So it's it's just really useful because it's really high damage. Even though you have slow attack speed, it's it's not too bad because you're not gonna be fighting as big of hordes of mobs, right, until until you get to like I don't know, fiery forge. So There's, oh yeah, there's armor, Dominic, two picks, two picks, so. Yeah, I think he's got a pickaxe too. Pickaxe bros. Let's go. Alright, we got five cauldrons of bricks for to destroy. There's one. Creeper. Oh man. Watering the zombies. I think there's what there's one right there. We could get it in with a pretty good one. I'll get this one first and then go back to the front. Oh, I think. I think the Phoenix already got two. That's okay. I got one. Uh, harvester. Wait, we have one on one mob, but it's okay. We're demolishing these things anyway. Get to that zombie somehow. <laughs> right, alright. Things are going well so far. It's the last group. Now we just gotta find the cauldron, which is actually gonna take longer than all this. Alright, that gate is open. Okay. Just gotta take care of all these mob guarding men. I believe there's an Enderman on the other side. Yeah, there we go. Get it going. Empty everything on it, and we're done. That was quick. Shut a roof scouting. I kind of wasted it, but it doesn't really hurt because it would have worn out before I would have gone into that one of the Ooh, I think I got a glaive. I think I'll stick with pickaxe for now though, definitely. Oh, Hank Peter's got the glaive. We are no longer pickaxe bros. Yeah, as I said, I, I think I'm gonna be sticking with pickaxe. Burning arrow. You got those guys. Uh, let's take the... I won't crap. Only two? It was like nothing. Yeah. At one point, um, in, in a different hero of mine, I had this, like, Venom Glaive that I just kept up here. I just kept using it. It was like my, my main weapon. A Power Bow and a Venom Glaive. Kept me solved for, like, an entire playthrough once. Let's see. Get down the stairs? Can I get down the stairs? Yes, I can get down the stairs. Right across the bridge. Oh no. Here we see my increased ineptitude to follow direction arrows in Minecraft dungeons. I'm going the wrong way. Well, at least I got an emerald pot for my troubles. Let's head back. Anything here? Oh, there's a slime over here. Burn, slime, burn. 
Billy? No, uh, it's okay. Let's take it out. All of the beacons, kind of. Track of them. I think I'll teleport up here. Hey, better to be lost together. Oh, oh, okay, he's out, he's out. Never mind. So, no longer lost together, but rather found together, I guess. Oh, it's such a bad play on words. Anyways. Ooh, I love this section because there's like a billion baby zombies and baby zombies are so fun to destroy. In Minecraft, they're menaces. In Minecraft Dungeons, they're easy. Imagine if they added armored baby zombies though. Oh, come on, you took my bread. Oh, you really fell into a bog there. Parrots is making good work of all these enemies. Oh, oh, I think that's the final, it's just the final fort. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think we'll just, uh, you know, I guess fortify this position. Get rid of everything here and then we can heal up. Wait for our artifacts to recharge before the final battle. I think I'll save this TNT for the fucking cauldron. Or I can use it anyway, I don't know. Ooh, daggers. For some reason, daggers are about the most common drop I get. Like, I, I, find, I found so many daggers. Not in this playthrough, but in other playthroughs, I found so many daggers. Just like, more da daggers. See, I've already, I already have two daggers, but... Two sets of daggers. Ooh, okay. <laughs> More daggers, just as I said it. I didn't even notice that. All right, let's just, you know, chuck weapons and all that. Salvage some daggers. I think the dog is... Oh, the dog died, no. Okay, the potion is ready. Let's go. Our defense rocket potion is ready. This is the boss fight. This is it, it's time. TNT? Okay, it's gonna take a little bit of damage here. Oh, it took a lot of damage right there. I hate these, I hate the corrupted slimes. And, and, and like, old iron mobs. But, computer got the corrupted beacon damage. And, we got the TNT. I even got that level, which is really useful for later. But overall, this is proving to be a pretty good fight. A corrupted beacon is destructive. Right there. Corrupted beacon. Why you should get one. Amazing. Ah! Oh, the luxury merchant. Ah, oh, whatever. Forgot about him. Oh, that's a luck. That's the gift wrapper, isn't it? Okay. I got a bit confused, but it's okay. I think he even got it for me. Better to not go back and you know, waste time. I'm pretty sure there's a button around here somewhere. Like, you know, for the um, hidden, for the hidden uh, level quest. Yeah, the, the, the hidden level, um, you know, the Mushroom Island level. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> yeah. All right, we can. 
Let me see if it's here. If it's not, I guess we can just move on. But I'm pretty sure it's here. I'm pretty sure it's near those mushrooms. Anyways. Archaeologist's potion supply yeah. is no more. Oh, I know why. It's because recover from this because blow. you need to you need well to finish done. Obsidian Pinnacle before you can do the mushroom level. Anyway, that's about all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And bye for now.